time for chit-chat. Let's get down to brass tacks. All right, Pox. I need some serious intel on Moonbase Solaris. Right. Moonbase Solaris consists of two primary areas, the Blisk Base and the Cosmonaut Base. Like two lobes of the same twisted mind. Okay, what do we know about the Blisk, aside from their ugly sin? They are indeed a most repulsive race, and incredibly vicious. Further, they treat their workers very badly and have offensively short tempers. Any resemblance to present company is completely coincidental. Okay, what about the Cosmonauts? Well, they're just humans, of course, albeit the cream of Soviet citizenry. They think their leaders here represent some sort of shadowy Kremlin cabal. Of course, the Blisk have been playing them like puppets, not that they realize it. They're so proud. If they knew how the Blisk were using them, they'd be furious! Sounds to me like we need to send the cosmonauts a little wake-up call. Not a bad idea. A crowd seems to be assembling in the cosmonaut base. Why don't you check it out? I think it's time the puppets met their masters, hmm? Okay, I got it. Turn the cosmonauts against the Blisk. This is gonna be fun! <laughs> Stupid cheap Takoshimi's watch. I am late for Leonid's speech in Habitat One. Just once I would like to buy an American-made product. Solid workmanship trusted the world over. <laughs> nah, not really. Not even in the 60s. something about it. Who's with me? Ugh, Leonid is right. Bliskovics have taken advantage of our good natures. Hmm. But Leonid, why we have to leaving beloved country and coming to this hellhole? Da is being worse than Verklyonsk in February. That's what I'm saying. No air, no chicks. This place sucks, and it's all the Blisk's fault. It's true. Leonid is saying what we're all thinking. Hmm. But Leonid, 
why we are never seeing beloved Premier Milinkov anymore. Da, he used to be flying up frequently for surprise holiday photo ops. Da, mission accomplished. <laughs> that was being good one. Milinkov, you think he cares about you guys? He has a driver, two mistresses, a black seat beach house, and a, a fat Swiss bank account. If that's communism, sign me up. Ah, <laughs> it's true. Milinkov is being very corrupt. You telling them, Leonid? Hmm. Leonid, why we are not being allowed in the area northeast of here? Da, what are you having to hide? Because Milinkov thinks you're too drunk and stupid to go over there without getting lost, that's why. Drunk? Okay. But stupid? Why, that sopa? Da, we can no longer be trusting Premier Milinkov. Oh, it ain't just Milinkov, kids. The Blisk think you're a bunch of morons, too. Bliskoviks also? Uh, but they are always telling us Soviet Union will be ruling world. Dalyanid, what evidence you are having to mistrust Bliskoviks? Evidence? They're controlling your minds! I am thinking Comrade Cosmonaut Leonid is drinking too much Revelade. They've taken over your entire government! Comrade Leonid is perhaps watching too much American television. They're giant freaking lobsters from outer freaking space! Mm. We are seeing long-term psychological effects of space travel. Poor Leonid. They're taking away your vodka! Oh, this, this is being outraged. Anything else can be endured if we are having vodka. Ah, without vodka, Russia would have been democracy 200 years ago. This will not be standing. There is being no such thing as free lunch, Bliskoviks. Yeah, give me vodka or give me death. Da. Yeah! So what does this mean for the Bliskoviks? Bad news for the Bliskoviks! That's the spirit! Now get out there, find the Blisk, and kill them crabbies dead! For what go? For it, Crypto! Run for your life! Are you being gore? Be sending reinforcements! 